back to another tutorial. We are picking up where we left off talking about getting the face mocap data into Cinema 4D using moves by Maxon. So I've already gone ahead and brought my capture in here. Um, I use the extensions, the moves by Maxon extension to bring it in. Uh, all I did was remove this texture. Um, it's not really your face, it's just kind of a, just a mesh that similar to your face and then it just kind of throws a texture over it so I've got everything I need in here um, you can see all these moves and then we talked a little bit about how this comes in over here under blend shapes as we scrub through you can see all these different uh, position changes as the face has completely been rigged so how do we get this into a new character well Let's just use for now um, a feature of Moves by Maxon called the um, Create Pose Morph, whereby clicking it, it brings in a another face um, that has the Pose Morph tag and the uh, pre -ca uh, face capture to Pose Morph tag by Moves. But once it's created, you don't see anything yet. So we got to kind of experiment a little bit. And having looked at the blend shapes that came in, I noticed, you know, what I'm really going to focus on first is just showing you some of the jaw and mouth movement. So a lot of these percentages, um, like jaw open, for instance, is, go is starting at zero and going up to like 20%. Um, the mouth has the uh, funnel and pucker, which are ways in which it's, you know, like there's it's closing and opening to make different phonetic sounds. Um, so I'm really gonna focus on those. So let's start from the first position. Let's just show you how this works and then you can kind of take it from there. But if I go into my polygon and click on my uh, face capture to pose morph tag, um, what I can do, since my pose morph has nothing in it right now, is create all pose morphs or I can go in here and just individually pick the ones I want. So let's just start with that. Let's just do jaw open. And I'm going to do just a couple different sounds. So I'll do pucker and funnel. Let's just let's just play with that. Now obviously, you know, I wish there was a diagram that showed you what all of these do on the face, but we're we're going to kind of just play with this and really once you have the mouth and the eye movements and a, you can create your own smile animations and whatnot and other facial expressions to put in so this is a really good starting point so um, in here under uh, jaw open I'm just going to go in here to animate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this jaw open now remember I said it was maxing at about 20 percent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my mouth go really wide um, kind of you know, factoring in the fact that it's really good. He's really only going to open his mouth about a fifth as wide as my widest position, if that makes sense. So, like, this may be as wide as I think I'll ever open my mouth while talking, but I might need to go, you know, a factor of four or five larger than that um, if I really want to see that 20% have any impact. So, I'm going to really open it up here remember this is jaw open so I'm also going to pull the uh, the jaw down together just kind of like there is also a jaw forward so I'm not going to pull it forward but um, even wider and even add some cheeks some other face muscles um, Upper lips, I'm going to keep a little lower. I'm going to focus more on the lower lips because we're talking jaw here. We're not talking mouth. So let's do something like that. So let's come back into startup. And you'll notice right away it went away. But if I go back into my tag and play, now I've got similar, similar size mouth openings going on. I just kind of pick a keyframe. I could have made my, my sculpted mouth open even wider, but 
that'll work. And then let's just go back in here. Let's try the uh, pucker. So uh, you know, I'm assuming that this just means like kind of like a kissing look. So let's come back in here and let's just kind of mash everything together as if you know we're making a fish noise here. And again, I'll make it kind of dramatic because it doesn't need to. It's never going to use the 100% value, which is basically what I'm sculpting, right? So let's go to the beginning again, and now we'll notice. Oh, did I accidentally get it? Oh, I accidentally got the jaw open. Okay, that's a mistake. So let's go back to where we were. So yeah, make sure you got your pucker selected. <laughs> and let's try this again. Let's just jam. Oops. Right, you also have to make sure that once you selected that, you clicked animate because you don't have to create the position over again. Um, so let's just pucker this bad boy up. And let's go back to the beginning. And now look at this, the mouth is not only opening, but it's narrowing to make different sounds. Um, and so you can even bring in the sound, uh, which I don't have in here right now, but um, let me see if I can find where the sound goes. Add sound. And... Hey, how's it going? I'm just having an absolutely fine time trying to have this thing for you. So now we're a lot closer. Um, you can hear like the word 4D and you can see the pucker move. So anyway, I think we're getting pretty close. So what I would just recommend is getting comfortable with what all the different, uh, you know, blend shapes are doing here. I mean, they're pretty standard. I'm sure you can find some information out there about how these map to the face and then just go through and, you know, really look for things that have a zero value I'm looking right now like for instance at eye blink I notice that closed is 70% So I hope that helps.